Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Now, for you, it doesn't seem like any time has been taken off, right? Because you've been watching these all through the last two weeks. But I've just come back from my two-week vacation visiting family and going to PAX. So I have not seen this game or looked at it in two weeks. So if I forget what I did last time, excuse me, please. But I believe that in the last episode, we, as investigating, going around, looking at stuff, we met weird people. Rafa is with us, helping us. Maya is in jail. No one is surprised by this at all. No one, literally nobody. Um, and now we find ourselves in uh, the house of the high priest. This was the same place uh, where Phoenix uh, was brought once he was passed out, once we first got up here. And now we talked briefly to the wife of the deceased priest in the last one, and it was a little weird. She ended up talking to his portrait and saying some strange things before leaving the room. And that's pretty much where we are right now. So we've got to we've got to get some info. Um, she left, so I'm, I'm only half wondering if we should just start examining stuff before we go look for her. I don't know if she's going to talk to us or not. Uh, but we'll just have to figure that out as we go. Look at this room. It's very Japanese, isn't it? I'm just gonna, I guess I'll start from right to left this time and see what I can examine. Let's see what we can find. Is this a piece of art of some sort? What is it? I can't see it from here. What a beautiful orb. Hmm? Is something the matter? Barbed head, take one step back. Uh, okay, done. Did you spot something? Yes, your dismal reflection. Oh. Listen, I look good. What are you talking about? It was ruining the orb's beauty. Did you have to put it like that, your benevolence? Listen, Rafe is very sassy. It's not, I like her. You know what? She gives me like the air of Francisca almost, which I really miss. You guys know how I love Franny, right? And I'm just like, it's similar, isn't it? A little bit anyway. Um... I hope that I come to like her like I have Francisca. I think it's possible. I really do. A poster of the mountains? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Oh, the inner sanctum mountain is featured against those other towering peaks. Yeah, look, it's beautiful. What do these mean? Oh, it's just like it's got like the heights of them written on it, it looks like. Those beautiful mountains are known as the Roof of Kurain. Ah, and I see they have even included Mount Pony Pony in that poster. Mount Pony Pony? Is that the smaller peak to the left? So this is the second time we've seen that. Because when we were up on the top of the mountain there earlier, you could see it in the distance and they mentioned it. I think it's going to be probably very important to the case, I'd guess. Known as the Little Sanctum, it is just west of the Inner Sanctum. Is it not also beautiful? But I suppose a lawyer with a defiled soul such as you could not perceive such beauty. No, that's not true. I think it's absolutely stunning. Mountain range poster. Okay, a poster in the high priest's house. It shows the inner sanctum and Mount Pony Pony. I'm just saying it as pony because, you know, horses and all. I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't know. Hey, look, look at this old TV. I'm into it. Well, what's on? Let's take a look. Man, we're just turning on fucking TVs in people's houses. What show is this? It is the Plumed Punisher Warrior of Neo Twilight Realm. It is based on Lady Kira and is the number one action hero show in Kurain. Boy, they really go for that shit, huh? The Plumed Punisher Warrior of Neo Twilight Realm? Sounds exciting. Yeah, let's go. This is like a weird spin-off of the Steel Samurai, is it not? Like the 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 sound is similar? They're using some of the similar tones. Yes, it is an entirely original show created right here in our kingdom. I'm not so sure about its originality given its overall look and that theme. That's what I'm saying. Have they never seen the Steel Samurai? Maybe it's I don't know. Is something the matter? Well, it's just we have an action hero show back home that is really similar to this. I'm guessing this shows why Maya is so into Lady Kira. Oh, true. Yeah, here he is. Ba -da -ba -ba. Honestly, the theme song is exactly the same as the one from Maya's favorite show. You know, you don't have to blame it on Maya, Phoenix. You can you can agree that you also like it. Edgeworth likes it too. But we these are facts. We know this, right? Oh, I haven't heard this in so long. It's so nostalgic, isn't it? 
The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. It literally is the same concept. It's a popular action hero series filmed right in LA. <laughs> Tokyo. Set in a city known as Neo Old Tokyo, it pits the Steel Samurai in mortal combat against his nemesis, the evil magistrate. Why has collected DVDs and merchandise from that series as long as I've known her? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? The Plumed Punisher seems awfully similar to the Steel Samurai. The Plumed Punisher originated here, in Kurain. Is that clear, Barbed Head? Y yes, Your Benevolence. Note to solve. Never suggest that again. I won't. Don't worry. I always learn from my mistakes. I do things wrong all the time, but I usually never do the same thing wrong twice. Well, depends. There's a Steel Samurai patch on this bag. Oh, this bag must be Maya's. She probably left it here while she was performing the right. Oh, we should probably take that. Wait, can we... We can't grab that? Ah, oh, crap. That's bad, isn't it? All right, fine. Uh... This game looks kind of like checkers or chess. What is it? Is it go? Couldn't... I can't really see. You mean to say that you have never heard of Kachu de Mahal? Did I say that right? Kachu de Mahal? I have heard people describe it as Kurenese chess. So two players take turns moving their pieces in a bid to capture the other's king? Mm, not quite. In Kachu de Mahal, the object is utter annihilation of your opponent. Furthermore, each piece has a special move that can only be used once per game. That sounds complicated. Special moves? It sounds like a game right up Maya's alley. Maybe she was playing it earlier. Oh, it's possible, right? What's this? Here, it looks like a newspaper. Oh, it's a wanted poster for the rebel escapee everyone's talking about. Oh, or that. What? Let me see that. Oh, shit, look at him. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. Oh, that's Dots! Yeah, they've been talking about him loads. Dots Arabal. Senior member of insurgent leadership and former paratrooper of a foreign land. Wanted for crimes against the kingdom. Considered armed and dangerous. So he's ex-military, huh? Oh, shit. His appearance alone exudes menace. He must be captured at once. Whoa, listen, all right. He does look a little bit tough, but let's not judge a man by his appearance alone. Let's not do Wanted poster added to the court record. A wanted poster describing the escape prisoner mentions a sizable reward. Sure does. Three million. That's a lot. Hmm. Is something wrong? The bounty is three million damas, money that comes out of the people's tax payment. I shall have it lowered to about one million damas. You seem unexpectedly concerned with the people's welfare. Unexpectedly? How rude! Nanya has always taught me that kingdoms that value that do not value its people come to ruin. Oh, that's really good, though. It's really good of her to do that. As crown princess, it is only natural that I care for my people. How about sending some of that kindness this way? Yeah, but you're not her people, are you, Phoenix? Huh. Huh. Well, I suppose I could. If you quit being a lawyer and paid taxes to our kingdom, that is. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Ma'am, I would not live here if you paid me at this point. Oh man, is this one of those pointy seats? You know what? I have a thing like this in my house, actually. Well, not a seat. It's like a mat that you lay down on that's pointed, kind of, with plastic. Sounds awful, and it kind of is, but when you lay down on it, it kind of like fixes your back. I don't know how else to put it. It's like a, it's like a weird, weird kind of yoga, chiropractic thing. And it does work, though. It hurts at first, though, like for the first like 30 seconds, though. What is this scary looking spiky thing? It is a floor cushion for heightening a practitioner's mental focus. Your ignorance astounds me. There is not a soul in Kurayin who would not recognize this. Ma'am, I'm not from here. Listen, if I took you back to my hometown and showed you something amazing, I don't know, what could we show her? <laughs> would you be like, what is that? What should we show her? I don't know, like, I don't know. Put in the comments what we should show Rafa from our place that she'd just be like, what? Like, she would just feel like her mind would be blown. I'm trying to think of something right now, and I can't. Maybe they are similar. A floor cushion? You mean you're supposed to sit on this? Huh. How else would you suggest it be used? I don't know, like a meat tenderizer. It looks like a torture device to me. It tenderizes your buns. That's what it do? 
I'd like my buns to be tenderized, ma'am. Trash, always check the trash. In every adventure game, it's very important. This looks like a wastebasket. Hey, there's an envelope sticking out. Hmm. <clears throat> there are three holes in a row near the top. Now, where have I seen holes like this before? Oh, we have something like that, don't we? We grabbed that. Scrounging around in other people's garbage like some stray dog. You are a pitiful creature indeed. Um, what does it say here? Say what you will, but I've got a job to do. That's right. It says, to the high priest... Oh shit, we're checking other people's mail now. Oops. Huh, you cannot even read. You are more pitiful than I had thought. Ah, uh, thanks. And I'll keep your words of wisdom in mind, your benevolence. Girl, can you come down to my fucking country and read shit? I'm getting mad. Guess I should have studied some Kuranese before I came. Oh. <coughs> mm -hmm. Don't. So the envelope was addressed to the high priest, huh? But it's empty. Still, there's something about it. I better hang on to it. Envelope added and envelope addressed to the high priest. There is no return address, and three unusual looking holes are punched into it. Okay. Huh. Lady Belieb has not had a change of heart, and simply waiting shall not change that. C can we wait just a little longer? I wonder if she'll ever open up. Oh, you're still here? Oh no, I don't even remember what voice I gave her. Well, I'll figure it out. Lady Belieb! Hello, ma'am, are you alright? Listen, I don't mean to cause you distress or anything. It's in me. Do you think you're ready to talk? Is it okay with you, dear? Yes, yes, I will let him know. Uh, ma'am? Lady, believe you don't have to speak to this lawyer if it is not your wish. No, it's quite all right. If my husband were still with us, he would say... Oh dear. As much as it pains me to have my lovely wife speak on such matters, if it would help us to find the truth, then ask whatever you may- Ooh, oh, uh, this is creepy. Okay, I'll take you up on your generous offer. Wait, does Miss Inmi call herself lovely just now? Listen, Phoenix! The, an older woman can be lovely? Well, whatever are you waiting for? Ask your questions quickly, so your departure may be just as swift. Yeah, yes, of course! Okay, is she really gonna talk to us now? All right, let's see. To rest in me. Tell us about the priest. Do you have any idea why your husband might have been killed? Was he acting different or doing anything out of the ordinary lately? No, I don't recall anything of the sort. Um... Oh, this is really difficult. Did anybody have a grudge against him? He was a kind man and one of peace. He would never do anything that would cause someone to bear a grudge against him. Wait, what? Oh shit, Cyclops! Oh no, ma'am. Oh ma'am. These are Cyclops. Uh-oh. Ooh, the music, guys, the music! This means that it's Miss Emmy is trying to hide something from me. Uh-oh, girl. This is the Magatama that Maya gave me all those years ago. And it has a really amazing power. It reacts when someone is hiding something. And allows me to see the Cyclops that are holding the person's mind shut. Whenever I see any, I only have to touch my Magatama to try and unlock them. Here we go! Ah, yeah, this is... Ooh, this is exciting. Unlocking them all usually allows me to coax the truth out of someone. Ooh, here we fucking go. What are we gonna do, though? All right, well, let's just go for it and see what happens. Okay. Well, let's see. What could she be lying about? I don't know. The high priest, okay. So obviously it was when we asked if someone had a grudge against him so she knows something there. Cyclops. They appeared when I asked whether or not anyone held a grudge against her husband. That must mean that Miss Inmi thought of someone who just might have such a grudge. Yeah, that's very important, too. Let's just stir the pot a little and see what happens. Miss Inmi, I have an idea who your husband's real killer might be. That would be Maya, would it not? No, of course not. It has to be someone with a motive to kill him. This is who I believe had a reason to- Wait, what? 
This is who I believe had a reason to kill your husband. Wait, what? The real killer? The escaped prisoner? Lady Kira? The rebel Dirk? Wait, what do we have that would- Huh? Hang on, it's been two weeks. I better look at what we have. Rights guide? The May 9th... Reports on Lady Kira's activities in the newspaper. What does this say again? Lady Kira returns to battle rebels. The Lady Kira-like figure that appeared two years ago remains a mystery. Some town elders see her as Lady Kira in the flesh. Some rumors are feeling the enthusiasm for the purification rite. Thick white ice froze the ground from the inner sanctum to the plaza. The rite cannot go on as planned. So Lady Kira is tied to this somehow, but also we have an escaped prisoner, so that could also be tied. They could be one and the same. Look out for a male insurgent. But you know what I'm wondering too, is the... Is the prisoner also related to the... Hmm... I don't know. Bladed weapon, which Lady Kira holds. I think it's either the first or the second. Or a bad dagger used in the right, which would mean... I mean, whoever it was was clearly dressed up as Lady Kira, right? Face tattoo... Hmm. Bloodstained letter. Inner Sanctum photo. See, the, the Lady Kira stuff was there, but is that who we want to say immediately? I don't know if that's going to hold any water. Wait, what was the other one? Oh, right, this part. Hmm. Are we just trying to say anything? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Curtain around the perimeter. Sanctum prayer flags. My statement. Spring water was already stained red. Lady Kira's warning. See, she gave a warning to the high priest as well. And that's the thing with the holes in it, by the way. So this is probably the thing that was in the envelope as well. So the priest did get a warning from Lady Kira as a threat. I'm just gonna pick that then. What if, what if? It was the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. Everyone's talking about her. Yeah, so that should make sense, right? Oh, wait. Oh, God, no, I don't like that. Uh-uh. That's cursed. I know not of what you speak. Really? Because she even made the front page recently. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> I am but a humble servant of Lady Kira. What reason would she have to kill someone as insignificant as I? Actually... I have something that just might show why Lady Kira would kill Abbott and me. Oh, well, that would be the thing we were just looking at, probably, there. All right, um, here, this. Take that! We were just looking at it. And now we know it was absolutely given to the priest in the envelope because they match. This is a letter of warning from Lady Kira. Maya found it. It was in the inner sanctum, and only Maya and your husband were there at the time. Oh! Oh, that's one gone, all right. This letter reached its intended recipient, your husband, to the high priest, didn't it? And how do you know Maya wasn't lying to you? Because I've never seen that letter before, and I doubt my husband ever did either. Girl, I've got the envelope though, right here. It was in this room. Sorry, but... I have evidence that proves this warning was meant for your husband. That's gotta be what we've just received. This right here. Take that! Has to be. Okay. What's that? It's an envelope addressed to the high priest. The warning letter was delivered to your husband inside this, wasn't it? <gasps> oh shit, okay, this is not hard so far. Girl, you're not doing very well. What nonsense is this? How can you prove the warning was delivered in this envelope? Hmm, there's gotta be some way to prove it. Wait a second. Don't the envelope and the warning letter have something in common? Yeah, the holes that were punched in it. I think there just might be something that links the envelope to the warning letter. There is? Yes, and that proof is right here on the warning letter. Let's see. Little holes. This spot on the warning letter proves that it was delivered in the envelope. Does it matter which holes we look at? What shows the envelope? I'm just gonna click these then. Take that! Those are like the clearest ones. The three holes in the envelope are in the same shape and arrangement as the holes in the warning level. Level? Letter. I can read. <laughs> Don't worry about me. And if you fold the letter in thirds and place it in the envelope, the holes line up. <gasps> As for what made the holes, I believe it was this. Oh wait, uh... 
Wait, what? What could have made the holes? That I don't know. Uh... Three holes. Do we have something for that? Statement... Oh, right... Oh, right here! The warbat arrow! The three-pronged arrow! Well, that's all we've got, so it must be that. Forgot that they were three-pronged in the first place. They were made by this warbad arrow, one of the weapons favored by Lady Kira. The warning was folded in thirds, placed in the envelope addressed to the High Priest, and delivered to your husband on the points of this arrow. <gasps> oh, girl, I'm sorry. Almost blew you away. Shit. You're all right. You're gonna tell me the truth. Oh, ma'am. Don't lie to me, ma'am. I'm trying to help you. All right. Uh. So, okay. So what's she gonna say? Let's have it. Are you ready to tell me the truth now? Are you gonna do it, girl? Come on. It's all right. I admit the warning was sent to my husband, but he was not an insurgent. Then why did you keep it a secret? Because. The authorities might have suspected him of being one if I hadn't. I guess that makes sense. If the rebel hunter was after him, I, I can see how people might at least suspect. We are a Kurinist kingdom, as such, rising up against the monarchy. is the same as blaspheming Kurinism itself. Oh, I see. Your husband was a devout priest of Kurinism, and you feared that his good name would be tarnished if the warning went public. Yes. That makes sense, but is it the honest truth? What if the high priest really was a rebel? Oh shit, but what if though? Could that really be true? The rebel hunter would have had a motive to kill him. Still. I wonder if she knows about that or not. Hmm. This just doesn't feel like the right time to ask her about it. But what do we do then? Okay, let's ask her about the warning. Okay. Could you tell me a little more about the warning? It arrived about three days before the purification rite. When we woke that morning, it was already there by the side of our bed. It was by the- Oh, shoot. It was by the side of your bed? Yes. We had the whole house locked up tight. And yet, someone managed to slip in. Oh, it was so frightening, wasn't it, dear? But you didn't contact the police? Because you didn't want them to suspect your husband of being a rebel. That's right. If only we had told the police, maybe Tarust would still be alive today. Oh no, that must be hard. I get it, I get it. Aw. Oh, lovely wife. No need to fret, my dear. Oh, this is really kind of creepy and sad. My only regret is that I left you all alone. Bye, Ted, that is quite enough. Yes, you're probably right. Yeah, she doesn't seem very well, does she? Feel bad. Miss and me, I'm sorry to have bothered you at such a difficult time. Don't be silly. I'm happy if I've helped. Oh my goodness. Your benevolence. May you swiftly shine light upon the truth. Oh. Oh, she's gone. Bob, Ted. You seem bent on casting suspicion upon Lady Kira. Well, a little bit. And by doing so, you seek to deflect the blame from the real killer, Maya Fey. That is the only logical conclusion. Ugh. I'm in no position to disprove her at this point. Well, yeah, but Maya's not the real killer. If I could only find something to support my theory that the High Priest was a rebel. Like what? The only other person who might know more about Abbot in me would be Maya. They might be done questioning her by now. Maybe I'll stop by the detention center. Oh, shit, okay. Is that where we must go? Oh, hello. What do you want? What's... Okay, what are you... What are you advising? My mother has said what? Oh, it seems that I must go. Did something happen? Yes. My mother has decreed that a rite shall be held for the high priest's passing, and that she shall conduct the prayer of lament therein. Her eminence has so decreed, has she? Oh, but she should not concern herself with a humble priest like my husband. No, it is only natural, considering his ma matrio <laughs> meritorious... God, that's a word I haven't seen in a minute. Meritorious service. The rite will be held at the palace. You are to accompany me there at once, Lady Belieb. 
Th thank you, your benevolence. My husband is most delighted, too. How wonderful for you, Miss Inmi. A direct decree from the Queen. That must be quite an honor. Oh, that's good, then. Also, you'll be off my back for a minute. That's also kind of good. I'm just saying. Bob, Ted, you are coming as well. Wait, no, I've got shit to do. Wait, hang on. Why do I need to be there? Huh? I don't have much time left to investigate. As the one charged with monitoring you, you must remain within my sight at all times. Besides, it will take but a moment. Mm-hmm. A moment, huh? Now, come along. Oh, arguing the point will probably just make things worse for me. I'd better let her have her way this time. Fine. But how am I gonna... I have so much more I probably need to find out. This better not take long, madam. I have... I, I'm busy. All right, here we are back again. We're probably gonna see, like, another right of, you know, like, the kind of like the one we saw before. Grand Palace audience chamber, okay. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Yes. We haven't seen this before, I don't think. Who's that? Is that that guy again? Oh, wait, hello. Welcome, Lady Belieb. Oh, 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 shit, here we go. Have we met the queen? I don't think we have. Oh my goodness, she's a little bit terrifying, isn't she? So this is the queen of Kurain? What is wrong with you, barbed head? Show some respect. Huh? Oh, oh um, oh, should I bow? Or, or prostrate myself? Prostrate yourself, Phoenix, do it. That'll get her attention. No, it is quite all right. Stay as you are. Mother. Your Eminence, I would like to give thanks to you. You honor both me and my husband. This exemplary service deserves to be honored. Oh, but what a terribly trying time this must be for you, Lady Belieb. May my prayer comfort your soul and that of your dearly departed husband. Oh my goodness, she seems nice, but this music. It's a bit Dark Souls and ominous. I hope that's not a feeling I'm just having. Nothing would please me more. Oh, your eminence. Your words are wasted on my humble husband and I. Oh. Ma'am? Now that's what I call a commanding presence. Really, I'm a little bit struck too. But the, this Dark Souls music isn't helping. So, you are the lawyer of whom my daughter speaks. Yes, your eminence. I am so very honored to make your noble acquaintance ship oh good phoenix well done I i'm humbled to bask in your resplendence oh did i overdo it i have no idea how to talk to a queen <laughs> oh may the holy mother's blessings be upon you now then lady believe let us go to the chamber of prayer rafa you are to accompany us too yes mother Okay, 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 I'm a little shocked. Wait, the guy was up there too, wasn't he? Wow, the queen is seriously something else. I'll say. Holy moly. <laughs> the prayer of lament, huh? Who's that? Oh, this is you. What's up, man? We've seen him before. Okay, uh, oh, geez. Hello. What's up, daddy? It's Justice Minister Inga. Hmm, who are you, buddy? Uh, nice to see you again, Minister Inca. Again? Have we met? I'm Phoenix Wright. We met in the accused lobby the other day. We did meet him, didn't we? Did I give him like a... What did I do? Did I give him like a mobster voice? I think I might have done. All right, blue suit, jagged air. That lawyer who brought my daughter down a peg or two. Your daughter? Wait, what? Wait, do we know that? <laughs> yeah, Rafa. He's Princess Rafa's father? Wait a minute, whoa, 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 wait, wait, doesn't that make him the king? So, he's Queen Garan's husband? You planning on sticking your fat nose in this mess too? The accused is a good friend of mine. Like I said the last time, you better watch yourself. Maybe I should give him a British voice then like the other two, or something similar. I think I gave him a mobster voice last time though. Mm, does he need a Daddy Bowser voice? Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? want to question me that would be great uh, let's see how we go with that hey, you got balls well lawyer guess I can play along for a bit but I got things to do see 
So we'll have to talk while I work. I don't know if that's gonna work out. We'll have to see though, right? Wait, hang on. Before I do anything, I probably did this already since I did meet you in court, but in case, look at this badge. Where do you get off sticking that thing in my face? You forget who you're dealing with. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. Or do you want a spot on my execution list? Listen, I'll do I'll do anything to get on that list, sir. You black book list? What? No, I'm good. Phoenix, what are you doing? I better end this conversation now before I really rub him the wrong way. Oh! <coughs> not possible. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not possible. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's talk to him. This incident. I wanted to let you know that I'll be the defense lawyer on this case, too. I'm sure he knew that already. Boy, it really is daddy. Hey, hello. Hello. Who are you? Oh, shit. Oh, you got a stamp stuff? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You only won last time because that idiotic prosecutor filed false charges. I don't think that was the only reason I won, but go ahead. Go on. But it's gonna be different this time. I got Kurain's top prosecutor on this one, see? Right. It's handsome men everywhere trying to distract me, but it won't work. Well, my... I... I don't care who I go up against. I'm going to prove my client innocent. You haven't forgotten that little thing called the Defense Culpability Act, have you? Blow this one, and you'll suffer the- <coughs> The same fate as the accused! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it. Wait, what? How could I forget? <laughs> you lawyers are all the same. You strut your stuff till the DC Act comes down hard. And you start begging and pleading for your lives. It's really hard to watch, I tell you. Well, I don't plan on letting it come to that. Oh my god, there is too many words in this. <laughs> this is a, okay, way too many words. <laughs> Guys, please. Are you the one who wrote the Defense Culpability Act? Probably. <laughs> maybe I did and maybe I didn't. What's it to you? Either way, as Justice Minister, I'm going to enforce the thing. What? It started as a way to counter the dirty tricks of your trade like falsified evidence. But it turned out to be quite handy. Efficient, even. Handy? Efficient? Yeah, forget the British. He's just gone full daddy Australian Bowser, and that's the way we're doing it. Yeah, it made my job real easy. Any goons across me at the Garan administration are gonna get just what they deserve. Especially those rebel scum. You rebel scum. He doesn't, he doesn't have the same, like, his text, even, doesn't read, like, Rafa and the Queen. So he's gonna have a different thing altogether. It just doesn't read the same, does it? You can get away with that here? <laughs> Better watch your mouth, lawyer. I enforce the law in Korean see? Mmm, you are not trustworthy, sir. And being that I'm the queen's husband, that makes me king. How come he's not called the king then? Shouldn't he have that title rather than the other one? Doesn't the king overpower the other title that he has? Oh, no, I'm pretty sure the queen is the boss around here. I mean, I know it's like a matriarchal society here, but still, shouldn't he be addressed as the king? Go on, say what y'all thinking so I can charge you with this majesty. <gasps> I can't get myself arrested now. Listen up, lawyer. We've got a low crime rate in a populace that lives in peace. And that's all thanks to the DC Act, so I don't want to hear any more lip about it. But I can't defend my client unless I speak my mind. <laughs> Even without the DC Act, Dirk and his insurgent scum buddies, days are numbered. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just say I got a little trick up my sleeve, so I'd watch it if I were you. Cause you got a defiant attitude, like one of them dragon dupes. I'm not part of their shit. But thank you for the compliment. Hello! Say what? You know what these are? No. What? Orders of execution. You really pile up before I start slacking off? What? You're not even looking at them. Oh dear. He's not good. Oh dear, oh dear. So everyone's it's in peace here because everyone's afraid, are they? And tomorrow I'll have even more work to do processing the one for your little friend. And if you really do defend her, I'll have to add one more to the pile for you. But you're not stupid enough to waste your life on that criminal, are you? Listen, you don't know how stupid I am, and yes, I'm not letting you get away with that. Don't worry. I'll make sure to lighten your workload, Inga. <laughs> Load. I will give you a single execution order to sign tomorrow. Oh shit, what a dick. Man, no wonder you're like that. Look at your dad. I have returned, Bobhead. Your benevolence, are you done with the right? Yes. 
It was performed flawlessly. That's good. Lady Belief stay behind to speak with Mother. I hope this will help ease her sorrow, even if just a little. I hope so. The Queen's kind of scary. <laughs> so, you have been speaking with my father? Yes, you could say that. My father is a great man. He works tirelessly to keep the peace in our kingdom. Crane, as it stands today, owes everything to the efforts of my mother and my father. You should feel deeply honored. Oh, I... I do. Under normal circumstances, they would have never spoken so readily with a lawyer. Uh, yes, of course. It seems Rafa doesn't know what her father is really like. Maybe she wasn't even raised around him. Something tells me she was probably raised deep in the... in all of the rites and performances that she had to do from the start. Probably closer to her mother in that respect, right? Well, now that we're done here, let's go see if I can talk to Maya now. All right, are we headed over there? Right, okay. Hello, darling. All right, you know what we should do? We should do this in the next one because it's probably going to be quite a line of dialogue here, and I'd like to start that fresh. This is a, quite a long investigation. They they seem to all be longer than I remember the investigations in Ace Attorney being so far, but maybe it's just me because I don't maybe I don't remember. But these investigation sequences are a little long than I remembered them being. Tell me in the comments, do you think they are too? Um, but in the next one, let's go ahead and talk to my, and this probably, I'm assuming, should soon be the end of what we need to do, and then we'll go right to court. I can't wait. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back with you. Thank you for all the comments and hints and tips that you have left while I was away. Um, I read I read as many as possible, and you guys are so great, and I'm so glad that you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next episode. Thank you again, too, so much for watching, guys, and giving the video a like if you liked it. I really appreciate all your support. I'm so thankful for you. Uh, happy April now, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Toodaloo!